Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Goddess of Whispers. It's your girl Karen and I am so excited to welcome my Sagittarius's back to my channel. I do want to let you know this is a general love reading. This reading may or may not resonate with all of my Sagittarius's. So take what does and leave the rest. If this reading does not resonate, please check with your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Also, the roles in my readings may be reversed, so apply yourself as you see fit, guys. And don't forget, if this reading does resonate, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and click the bell to get future notifications when your girl will be uploading another video. All right, my Sagittariuses, thank you so much for tuning into your weekly love reading, okay? So let's see what's going on with you guys from last week to this week. What energies am I gonna pick up on this week? I do wanna let you know, guys, that this reading does have an extended link in the description box below, okay? In that link, you will be able to um, get into the deeper message of the reading, finding out what the outcome is of the situation, what action is going to be taken towards you? You know, how are this? How are they truly feeling towards you if this is your past person? What is this person not telling you, you know, in the shadow? How are they really feeling, you know? And if this is a new love, who are they? What are their uh, true intentions towards you? And then we close out with some advice. I actually, guys, got my updated deck today, so I'm so excited to show you guys this deck. It is absolutely stunning. Um, the messages in this deck is amazing. So yes, this will be used in the extended as well to, as we dive deeper into the message. Okay, guys. Um, yeah. And also too, don't forget guys, don't forget to check me out in the community tab of the channel. I post a lot of inspiration messages, updates with the channel. Um, right now I am doing 50% off private readings as well, um, through this Sunday, just to celebrate and uh, my appreciation for all the love and support and subscribers, um, for hitting over 5,000 subscriber subscribers. So thank you guys again. And thank you to my cross watchers too. Okay, guys, I see you. <laughs> all right, guys. So let's get started. Let's dive into your love reading for this week. What is going on with my Sagittarius and Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good spirit? Pure, clean messages for my Sagittarius is here. What's the message they are to receive? What is the message my Sagittarius are to receive this week? Pure, clean messages, please, spirit. What's the message here for my Sagittarius? Is? Five cards, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Two more, please, spirit. What's the message for my Sagittarius is this week? All right. Thank you so much, spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, guys. So we have journey. Okay. We have hostilities. We have door to personal healing and happiness. We have angel of strength. And then we have the garden and the gate. All right, so this is an interesting energy. Okay, guys, I do use the Energy Oracle Cards deck um, to get the overall energy of the reading. I love this deck, okay? Um, but so far, guys, just diving into the message here for you, we have the Journey card, okay? So for some of you, I feel like, you know, you're going through a life journey at this moment. I feel like a lot of you are at a crossroads, you know, figuring things out as you go is what I'm gathering here. Um, for some of you, um, you could be wanting to travel to release your mind. For some of you, you've left your past situation, maybe, you know, uh, moved in with your parents or moved in with a friend, you know, um, you know, you, you're, you're seeking a change is what I'm gathering here at this time. Okay. But I'm seeing that you're just figuring things out as you go. You're on this new journey in your life, you know, and I feel like while you're on this journey, you're discovering a lot, um, not only about yourself, but about the world on a whole, you know, you're discovering a lot about life in general. You're seeing a lot of beautiful things along the way. Um, but you're also seeing a lot of things in the shadow, you know, which is helping you to ascend to a higher 
you is what I'm gathering here. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're on a, on a spiritual path. You're on a spiritual journey, you know, but you are, I'm seeing here, you're very appreciative of everything that, that is coming in your path while you're on this journey. Okay, guys. Yes. Yes. So we have the hostilities card here as well. Okay. This is letting me know. Okay. I'm getting two scenarios here. Okay. I'm getting that for some of you, you're not wanting to give up on a particular situation, okay, is what I'm gathering here. And then for some of you, I'm gathering that there was a lot of conflict in the past situation, okay? There was a lot of arguments. There was a lot of, you know, mental confliction as well. Uh, but I'm feeling like there's two scenarios here. There's two energies coming through in this reading. And I am seeing that, you know, for some of you, you are, you know, wanting to pursue something you know you're not giving up on something you're still wanting to fight for something and then for some of you you know you are being very guarded towards this person you know you you are ready to give up because the arguments just became way too much for you the conflict you know the disagreements you know someone not appreciating you someone taking you for granted it became uh, way too much for you OK, I'm seeing that, too, in this reading that for some of you, I feel like you feel abandoned in the situation. Like, you know, someone left you to fight, f fend for yourself pretty much is what I'm gathering. OK, so I'm getting two scenarios here. OK, guys, we also have door to personal healing and happiness. So I'm seeing that, like I said, especially with this journey card here, okay, I'm seeing that you're taking some time out to self-reflect, you know, going into the hermit mode, doing some soul searching, meditating, you know, taking some time away from the chaos, okay? I'm seeing that though, like I said, even while you're in this space, you're discovering new things, not just within yourself, like I said, but, you know, I'm, I'm seeing that you're realizing how beautiful life can be. You know, I, I'm seeing that for some of you, you're now being open. You're finally opening the doors to opportunities. You're starting to realize there's a brighter, you know, there's a brighter day ahead. There's a brighter journey ahead, but all you have to do is accept it. Release the negativity, release what no longer serves you is what I'm ga gathering here, guys, excuse me. But I am seeing that you know, you are looking through this window. You're looking from a distance, okay? And you're contemplating, okay, can I do this? Can I do this? Can I do this? And then eventually you do because you realize once you walk through that door, there's going to be healing and happiness and abundance there for you. Okay, guys, we have angel of strength here as well. Yes, I'm seeing that it's taking a lot of courage for a lot of you. You know, I feel like this is not easy. And I feel like for a lot of you, this has been a long haul, a long journey, you know, but I feel like the inner lion in you is emerging. You're coming into a new profound you. You're coming into this strength that you never knew you had. You know, you're digging really, really deep. And also what I'm seeing here as well, guys, you know, a newfound intuition, okay, a newfound, you know, just knowing what's right, just following your gut feeling and your heart's desires is what I'm gathering here. You're becoming very enlightened in the situation, okay? And I feel like you're ready to take off. You're ready to explore what life has for you. We have the garden and the gate, okay? One of my most beautiful cards here. Uh, but this garden and the gate card, you might have heard me say this in other readings, but it's so true here. There's like a lot of opportunity out here. This person here has the key around their neck. You know, they're inside this gate. All they have to do is open the gate and explore everything that's out there. But this person's in their safe haven, you know, where things are safe, things are quiet, you know, in that hermit mode, taking time time away from chaos, you know, but I feel like something is going to change here. You know, I feel like this is you opening the gate, you know, go actually walking through the gate and experiencing the rainbow, you know, life's gifts, you know, ready to risk it all and come into an understanding that life does have ups and downs and it's okay to be down because when you're down, there's nowhere else to go but up. Okay, guys, 
All right, so let's get some additional cards to clarify this message for my Sagittarius's this week. Spirit, what is the message here for my Sagittarius's? Wow, I broke the deck. We have the Temperance card, which is all about balance, doing things in moderation, healing, having patience. Okay, guys, at the bottom of the deck, again, cutting the deck, we have the tower card. So definitely something happened here in your life, something transitioned that put you on this new journey, this new path, okay, that made you feel as though you needed to work on yourself, figure things out. Okay, guys, but we are going to dive in deeper into your message and find out what is going on with my Sagittarius is here, okay? Spirit, what's the message here for my Sagittarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus to the highest light for the purest good. What is it that my Sagittarius need to hear this week? What is the message for them this week? What is the energy that is coming through for my Sagittarius this week, Spirit? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Clean, pure messages, Spirit. What's the message here for my Sagittarius, please? All right. Thank you, Spirit. Let's cut the deck, guys. See what we got. Oh, that is one into spill. That is your message indeed. All right, we have the moon, okay. We have the star. We have the ace of pentacles, yes. We have the page of wands. And we have that temperance card. Can't make this stuff up, guys. That was meant to be here. Cut the deck, temperance card is on the board. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the ten of pentacles, okay. So, all right, I, I see you rebuilding here. You know, you're rebuilding um your own legacy here is what i'm gathering okay guys you are taking the time to start anew start fresh you're wanting a new beginning in this situation a lot of you are was at a crossroads at one point and had to make a very very tough decision and that tough decision was to choose you okay i feel like this situation has put you into a space where you gain clarity you know, in this situation, you know, you left everything to the divine to guide you in this situation, guys. But I see that things start to shift here for you. You know, you go from, you know, going through mental conflict, hostilities, you know, arguments to finding inner peace within yourself, but not just within yourself, guys, is what I'm feeling, feeling just everything around you, okay, is what I'm gathering here, okay? You found a new profound strength within you, and therefore it allowed you to see everything else in it on a different perspective everything in a different perspective here okay you know with the moon card here guys this is you taking the time to you know figure things out there was a situation here that caused you to feel insecure feel anxiety feel unstable you know being uncomfortable in a situation but this situation in the end gave you the clarity that you needed okay this is you cont you know um deep in your head deep in thought here very pensive you know trying to figure out you know what's next for me or you know why am i here or you know just replaying different scenarios in your head to figure out what's your next move it wasn't easy i feel like a lot of you were stuck in this mode for quite some time but i see that you're finally starting to release it okay i feel like it was a battle within yourself pretty much you know i feel like with this um black um wolf here and this white wolf this is like your good conscience and your bad conscience so you're just back and forth in your head here you know on what to do what to do i feel like your mind was playing tricks on you as well you know creating scenarios in the situation um that was more than what it what it actually was and that could be probably because the person you were dealing with wasn't coming uh forthcoming with the truth okay we also have the star here guys this is you hopeful and, and wishing for better days. Okay, you could have air in your chart, uh, Aquarius in your chart, okay? Or air in your chart, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, okay? But this is you being hopeful, you know, wishing for better days, asking the spirit guides to guide you, okay? But this is also about healing, contentment, okay? This is all about a wish coming true for you, okay, guys? And I'm seeing that there's recovery here after after dealing with all the arguments and hostilities and the mental conflict here okay guys 
right after right under the door to personal healing and happiness is the ace of pentacles this is all about a new beginning so for some of you this could be a new job opportunity coming in for you this could even be a new love opportunity coming in for you here okay but this is all about a new beginning a fresh start starting a new here okay guys we also have the page of wands over um the angel of strength so with the page of wands here this is all about good news coming your way a new situation taking place this could also mean you know communication i feel like this is your opportunity maybe your past person is coming back in here but this is your opportunity to express how you truly feel or how this person truly made you feel in the situation okay um this could also mean like i said this could be a new person coming in because we have the ace of pentacles this is a new beginning with something or someone so something's coming in here for you that's going to require um, communication this is all about something being offered to you whether it's a new job new love something is happening and transitioning here for you that's um, re um, restoring balance back to the situation so we have the temperance card here over the gate in the garden and like I said guys this is you walking through that gate this is you persevering this is you taking the next leap of faith here you know um not only just for um for you but also too for you know maybe who who has been around you and supporting you you know helping you get to that next goal or that next um aspiration in your life as well okay guys i'm seeing that you know something is changing here within you yes see this ten of pentacles here you're building a new legacy okay and for some of you you're you're just ready for the next thing you're wanting this new family this happy home again you're wanting to rebuild this and for some of you guys this could be your past person coming in or this could be a new situation but we are going to clarify further okay guys let's see let's dive into your message Spirit, what's the message here for my um, Sagittarius's? I cut the deck and that moon card was here again. Yeah, so you were kind of lost there for at, um, at one point, guys. You know, just figure, taking time to figure things out. You know, it wasn't an easy road. See that moon card showing up again at the bottom of the deck? Yeah, and then again, I cut it again. We have the moon and the strength card, okay? So this is all about, you know, you gaining that strength, finding the courage to you know get yourself out of this um feeling of depression anxiety you know and figuring things out we have the magician here again yeah because you're realizing that you have all the tools you need to get yourself out of this situation okay you're realizing you're very skillful in the situation you know whatever you think is what comes to fruition for you you make your destiny okay Think positive, and that's what will come to fruition for you, okay? And I think you're starting to realize that here, especially with this door to personal healing and happiness card, the strength card here. Wow, that flew out. I'm going to take it. Wow, that's the strength card. Yep, right over the moon, okay, guys? This is you finding a new profound strength. Clarify the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Thank you so much. Yep, a change. Yep, a change is happening. That's good luck, good news, unexpected offers coming in for you. Destiny, change, fate. Yes, guys, you can't you can't make this stuff up, guys. This is coming in your way. You know, I said with the hope card here, you're hopeful. You're waiting for a new opportunity to come in here towards you. Yep, you're changing. You're changing. The moon card came out again over the page of pentacles. All right, guys, we have the sun and the ten of swords beautiful 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 at the bottom of the deck the seven of swords so this person that you were dealing with could have been a little bit sneaky towards you maybe he had some lies wasn't honest in the situation so it required you to focus on yourself but it wasn't easy you required strength in the situation okay like i said you were lost here for some time you know um for quite some time is what i'm seeing but i'm seeing that you're getting you're coming out of this you know that this was a long journey a long road ahead for you but you became more <laughs> accepting of the situation and starting to focus on you and move on from the from this uh past situation we have the the star here clarified by the three of wands yeah so this is you being hopeful this is you waiting for 
um, something new. This is you sending your prayers here. You see this this uh, eagle or bird going off. This is you sending your prayers into the universe or to asking the spirit guides and or the divine to gift you your heart desires here. But do you see that this bird's coming in? If you look very closely, this bird has something coming in here. Yeah, so because something is coming in here for you. This is them answering your message. This is something coming in. But this is also you turning your back on a situation, okay? We have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Wheel of Fortune. Yes, guys, because something is coming in here for you. Something heavy is coming in. Some type of offer is coming in here for you, but it's going to happen unexpectedly. This is all about good luck, good news, change, destiny, faith here, a new beginning, a new start. So this is about your life changing. You've gone through that cycle. So now the, ter the tables are turning, but it's turning in your favor. Okay, guys, we have here... Um, um, to clarify the um, page of wands is the moon okay this is all about you you know your situation changing okay this is all about you releasing this negative energy this is all about good news you know uh, you becoming um, a new profound person here okay this is all about you communicating maybe releasing this energy you know um, and expressing to this person how you're truly feeling in this situation if this person is coming in to communicate with you. Okay, guys, we also have here the temperance card clarified by the sun, clarified by the ten of swords. Yes, guys, because this is balance being restored. This is all about you feeling stabbed in your back. This is all about painful endings happening here. But with painful endings comes new beginnings. This is all about you blossoming here with this sun card. This is success, happiness, a new beginning. This could even mean reconciliation for some of you. But I'm seeing that you are moving forward. A lot of you here are moving forward with this Ten of Swords energy. You're starting anew. Okay, you're wanting something completely new to come in here for you. Okay, guys. All right, so let's clarify further. Let's let's clarify further. We are going to use the Romance Angels deck here to clarify the message further for you guys to see what's coming in for you guys. Okay. I'm actually going to go ahead and clarify as well this um, Wheel of Fortune to clarify. Wow, that's wanting to come out very soon. Wow. Okay. All right, Spirit. Thank you so much. We have Keep an Open Mind. We have Trust and we have Retreat. Oh, yep. Didn't I say that? I called it. We have Very Soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay this is all about um this is the eight of wands so something is coming in here for you guys okay guys with this eight of wand and energy this is all about fast movement okay with this eight of wands this is all about um you know something happening here for you guys this could mean your past person's coming in to communicate with you this could be a new job opportunity coming in here for you this could even mean that a new love interest is coming in here for you guys okay this is all about action news arrival okay or you guys could be deciding to travel at this time because we do have the journey card here as well okay but something is going to happen some type of movement with this very soon card which is equivalent to the eight of wands okay we have keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from the usual type and expectations. So yes, guys, you could have somebody here on the horizon coming in. Okay. But the spirit guys is letting you know, you know, this might not be the usual person that you would normally talk to, but this person could be soulmate material. Okay, guys. So keep an open mind with this, with this new person that's coming in. It says, trust the situation is calling for you to have faith. Yes. I feel like a lot of you, like I said, is waiting for the right opportunity. You've been praying for a new beginning uh, you've been praying for a new start here and with this in, in, with this energy here you know it's causing it's it's requiring you to have trust in the situation have faith i feel like this past person has made you feel lack of trust for any person that comes into your space okay um because of the past hurt that this past person has caused you so spirit guides is letting you know guys this situation is requiring you to have faith have faith in the spirit guides to lead you to um, a new path a new journey you know a new love a new start to come in but also have trust when it comes to dealing with new situations you got to remember in situations you don't have to trust someone a hundred percent but you got to give them the benefit of the doubt because they were not the ones who hurt you okay we have here retreat it's time to disconnect 
from the world. Yeah, so I feel like a lot of you took time away from this situation. You are no longer in communication. A lot of for a lot of you, this person could have ghosted you or you ghosted this person, you know. Um, but this was a situation where you decide you turned your back on this person, okay? So, yes, guys, thank you so much for oh, wait, I want to clarify before we go any further. I want to clarify this wheel of fortune. Spirit, clarify this wheel of fortune, please. Clarify this wheel of fortune for my Sagittarius. Clarify what's coming in their way. What is coming in their way? Why is this Ace of Pentacles and this Wheel of Fortune here? What is unexpected news that's coming in their way here? What is it that they need to know, Spirit? Please clean and pure message to the highest good. What is it that they need to know? What's the message here? Thank you so much. Okay. So the spirit guides have spoken guys at the bottom of the threat, the deck is the three of swords. Okay. So this could be the person that left you heartbroken. That's coming in here towards you. Okay, guys, um, in this energy, we have the six of cups. This is all about reconciliation. This is all about, you know, looking back into the past, wanting to start anew with someone. So for a lot of you, this could be your energy, or this could be your past person coming in to ask, um, ask you for a new beginning here. Okay, guys, but you, we are going to dive deeper into the message and find out exactly who this person is that's coming in, but someone here is definitely coming in towards you. Now that we clarify that this is not a job opportunity, this is definitely someone coming in towards you. So if you want to find out more in the um, extended reading, definitely click the link below. Like I said, it's only $5, but we go into the outcome of the situation, what action is needed. We even go into the feelings of this person and what they're not telling you, okay? And if it is a new love, who is this new person and what advice the spirit guides will have for you okay guys you don't want to miss it so i'll see you in the extended till next time bye my sagittarius i guess you're back are you gonna tell me where you went all the messages i sent with no reply